YouTube recently expanded its shorts to three minutes, promoting it as a game changer for creators. But beneath the surface, this update is a calculated scheme to limit monetization while boosting YouTube's profits. Previously, creators could use one to three minute videos to help meet the 4,000 hour watch time requirement needed for monetization. But now any video under three minutes is automatically categorized as a short. This means that watch time from these videos no longer contributes to the monetization threshold, essentially tripling the amount of content that doesn't count toward reaching monetization eligibility. YouTube claims this update allows for more creative flexibility, but what it actually does is create a system where creators earn far less. The Shorts ad revenue sharing model is based on pooled revenue from ads shown between Shorts, with deductions for music licensing. This makes it far less lucrative than traditional ad revenue sharing. YouTube still profits from these ads, but creators see only a fraction of the potential earnings compared to long form content. By pushing more content into the shorts category, YouTube limits creators' chances of reaching the monetization goal while reaping the benefits of increased ad inventory. The real problem lies in the difficulty of qualifying for meaningful monetization. The requirement to gain 10 million views in 90 days for shorts monetization is a nearly impossible hurdle for smaller creators. Before, they could use a mix of short and longer videos to build up watch time, but now even viral success with shorts doesn't necessarily translate into substantial income. Many creators are left struggling to adapt, with fewer paths to monetization than before. This update prioritizes YouTube's bottom line while making it harder for creators to earn a sustainable income. Ultimately, YouTube's three-minute shorts update isn't about expanding opportunities. It's about increasing profits at the expense of creators. It's a scheme that forces creators to shift their strategies, yet gives them fewer rewards. Under the guise of helping creators, YouTube has actually made it harder for content creators to achieve their goals, revealing a profit-driven motive behind this seemingly generous update. For many, this change represents a step backward, not forward, in their journey to monetization.